All right, guys, today we are going to be tackling the dreaded junk drawer. I know we all have them. They become so irritating when you can't pull them open, you can't close them because it's just too much. But today we are going to tackle this bad boy and get all of this organized. But before we do, this is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using some Dollar Tree organization bins. I had these from an old project and they definitely came in handy. I was going to return them, but I said, you know what? Something else is going to be needing to get organized. So I have two sets of those. I have this faux acrylic compartment organizer as well for your drawer. And then I also have this nifty rack, like a metal rack that is an actual organizer for a drawer as well that I got from Aldi several years ago for less than three bucks. So let's get this drawer cleaned out and get started. When you're doing a project like this, the whole purpose of cleaning out the drawers so that you can see every item, be able to feel it, touch it, and you'll see a lot of stuff that you forgot was in there. I'm telling you guys, I bought so many things like batteries and stuff that I didn't know I had duplicates of because it was so unorganized. So that's the first thing you do. Get it all out, clean out your space. Look how disgusting this is. It was so much nasty mess under there. But we're gonna clean the space out and start with a clean slate. That is the best way to organize and declutter a space. I'm getting out my handy dandy shark vac and I put my little uh, extender pieces on here to go inside and vacuum and kind of do a little sweep mini sweep on the inside of the drawer to give us this nice clean base to work with. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of Fabuloso on a hot, wet rag and just wipe it down to give it a nice, fresh scent before we start to place everything back inside of it. Now guys, what I've done is I have separated all the things in the box that I don't want to put in the drawer and then all the things in the bag I do want to organize and put back in the drawer. That is the best way to do it. Make piles of what you're going to keep, what you're going to get rid of, and what needs to be organized and placed elsewhere. All right, now it's time to place our organization bins inside. This right here will be a little tricky. It depends on what you use more often, where you need it to be, how accessible it needs to be for you to grab it easy. Do you use it every day or not? That's the way you want to place your bins in. And that's the way you want to implement putting certain things in each bin. What you use more often should be closer to you and easier for you to get things you don't use often or probably won't use at all, put it in the back. So I'm just showing you how these lock together and how they all move as one unit when they're locked together. Now we're getting ready to start putting the stuff back inside the drawer. We know this process is going to be a trial and error. You put it in and it looks neat, but you may have to maneuver things and change things as you see when the days go on, which things need to be closer, which things need to be put further behind and which things are being used more often. Organizing and decluttering is a trial and error thing. If you want to keep it organized, you have to pay close attention to what you use on a daily basis. That way you can make sure to only keep things out that are being utilized by you or your family. All right, guys, so this is already looking so much better than it did before. I tell you, it was torture opening and closing this drawer because we go in this drawer on a daily basis. But to have it not open because something is stuck and it was just atrocious to the point where you didn't even want to look for anything that's why I bought so many duplicates of stuff that I already had but no more of that I tackled this I hope this inspired you to go tackle something and guys this after is so oh, I love it love it love it if you guys love it thumbs up if you like videos like this thumbs up if you're new to my channel hit that bell below so you will be notified of my new videos and I will catch you guys in the next video later gators we're looking for your girl on social media this is where i am at cpr for the body but hey before you go check out these great videos i have lined up